Russian losses in the Kursk region have increased. The 95th Separate Polesi Airborne Assault Brigade of the Airborne Assault Troops of the Armed Forces of Ukraine continue to effectively take revenge on the Russian 155th Separate Marine Brigade of the Pacific Fleet for the murder of Ukrainian prisoners of war. Ukrainian paratroopers near the village of Leonidov in the Kursk region surrounded a platoon of the 155th Brigade and minus enemy armored vehicles as well as dozens of opponents, writes Forbes. The Ukrainian airborne assault troops reported that soldiers from the 95th Brigade had recently destroyed approximately 30 Marines and three of their armored personnel carriers as a result of a multi-hour battle. The enemy's teleportation to hell was carried out in a complex manner. First, the first enemy armored personnel carrier was damaged by a strike drone, after which the enemy's equipment was disintegrated into atoms by a precise shot from a tank, the Polesi Airborne Assault Brigade noted. The Ukrainian army added that the second enemy armored personnel carrier was in the sights of the Javelin anti-tank missile system operator and the anti-tank paratrooper destroyed it with one shot. The third Marine APC was blown to smithereens after running over a mine that had been carefully prepared for its path by the sappers of the 95th. Recall members of the 155th Separate Marine Brigade of the Russian Pacific Fleet have been accused more than once of killing Ukrainian prisoners of war. In particular, the media wrote that enemy Marines launched an attack near the village of Zeleniput in Kursk Oblast in early October and were able to capture Ukrainian drone operators and contractors. According to journalists, the enemy stripped Ukrainian soldiers to their underwear and killed them with shots to the head. Ukrainian paratroopers took revenge on the 155th Enemy Brigade. They actively eliminated the enemy in Kursk region. The Ukrainian side called for the issuance of warrants from the International Criminal Court for the arrest of Russian occupiers involved in the murders of Ukrainian soldiers. A drone attack has been launched on Zerzinsk city in Russia's Nizhogorod region, local telegram channels reported. Ukrainian kamikaze drones hit a military plant. As a result, an explosion occurred in the factory area. No casualties have been reported. The plant, which is one of the largest defense industry enterprises in Russia, produces explosives, shells, equipment for mining and oil and gas industry, seismic and geophysical fields. The plant is included in the Western sanctions list. Вот он лежит, блядь. Осколок у Видел спушку? Сейчас видно. Всем здорово. Всех еще приветствую. Ну что, друзья, на дворе 20 октября 2024 года. Вот и до города Ержинска. долетело можно так сказать только что на завод свердлого обрушилась атака дронов 
были взрывы, причем такие не слабые, но они до сих пор продолжаются, по сути. Где-то примерно я насчитал 14, по крайней мере, дронов. Вот, сейчас слышно, стреляют на территории завода, сбивают эти беспилотники, но они все равно долетают. Где-то 7 долетело уже до самой цели. Видел вспышку? Сейчас видно. 